I'm sorry things didn't work out. It's not you, it's me, honest. I mean, the 20 miles were, were fun, but there's just somebody else. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Gareth aka Baytech and in this video we're going to be fanning about the RX-7. So uh, some of you know, some of you don't know, I've got Covid um, but we're not going to play in that fact. We're not going to sit about the house, we're just going to get out and get on with shit. Um, feeling a bit rough and the way I get through these things is just getting out and keep myself busy. So um, yeah, working on the RX-7 today. As you can see, turbo is off. Now, again, some of you might have seen on Instagram, I fitted a, a Pulsar G30-770 on the car. And that turbo spooled fucking rapid, eh? It was a very, very fast spooling turbo, and uh, it was quite a lot of torque, and I actually ended up snapping the prop shaft after that, etc. Aye, right, so, uh, so a lot of torque low down on this thing. So what actually happened was I'd done a launch in it, it was quite a hard launch, um, the back end dug down and snapped the prop shaft. So, um, yeah, with the larger turbos, obviously, it's further up in the rev range. Once I got some more load on it, that I actually got the torque. So, bearing that in mind, for me, using the car on the on the road, on the street, and the, the Creole Raceway I use, which is quite bad traction, um, I'm hoping that, that the larger turbo with the lag will actually help me be able to launch and get out of the hole without wheel spin. So this video of the day will be all about this gadget here. So this is the G42-1200. Um, it's not the usual type of fittings and stuff. On the, I've got a G30 there and I've got a G35 up in the shelf. Um, check the fucking mess uh, of this. The boost system and charge system are all relatively the same size. So I can just swap between turbos quite easily. Although this one's a lot bigger. Um, the inlet V-band is actually 3 inch and the outlet is 3.5 so, um, or 4 but it's, it's massive so I'm going to have to try and make this fit onto where the other ones did as well so with that, this is an old uh, exhaust housing I can't remember it's a few years old anyway but it has a, a 2.5 inch V-band inlet on it so I'm going to cut this off I started it with a hacksaw and I got pissed off so I went and got some angle grinder discs uh, and this is 3 inch, like it's, it's a lot bigger, so I'm going to have to try and cut this off and modify it to try and fit a 2.5 on to where a 3 inch used to be. It's going to be interesting. Same with the turbo inlets um, for oil, they're a flange style instead of a screwing style. Um, and I had a play last night, this is the one that comes off the turbo, uh, come off the turbo last, but uh, I had a fanny boot with it and a fucking drilled the cut out too big. So I thought it was 12 mil M12, but it turns out that's like a 7 sixteenths by 24, which is around about 11.3 mil. So by the time I tapped it, it was too loose. So I'm just going to weld that cut on. Um, what else? Oh, the drain as well. I've kind of made up a mock fitting of what I'll maybe use. Again, it's very tight to this housing here. So uh, what I'll maybe do is I'll cut this down, move that down, um, and I'll just make shit fit. The usual. So I'll have a different turbo drain and uh, hopefully the rest will be pretty similar. The, um, the downpipe will have to modify and make um, something custom as well. So downpiping this thing is pretty big, 4 inch. Um, although I could go out the bonnet but I still want to use it on the street. So we will be limited by the 3 inch exhaust. So. But it'll be interesting to see what it does. It's fucking huge. You can also see down here, I've got the fuel system apart. There's that big fuel pump I run, the BR540, 540 litres per hour. Um, pump's an absolute beast, I love it. But I've bought uh, another 525 Hellcat pump because I'm going to run them both at the same time. And there's a wee Y piece there that I'll use. So um, it's dash 8 outlet on this stuff, so... All pretty big, and obviously the solid state relay down there. I don't know if you've seen what I'll use for pulse width modulation. So the pumps aren't running full bore um, all the time, so I'll have them quite a low duty just to get the fuel pressure up. And then as boost goes up, the um, PWM will go up as well, and the pump speed will increase. So this was the G30. Um, I had running probably for like 20 miles <laughs> and uh, 
Take the size of the wheel difference between these two things. Jesus. <laughs> that is a monster. Hope it spills it. So I'll cut that off and uh, cutting this one off just now. <clears throat> Can't get the angle grinder in there. So. <clears throat> Fucking hell. So the casters are pretty strong, even though it's about half an inch left there. Um, maybe a bit more. And uh, so I'll just get this in the vise and I'll just get a good smack and then that'll hopefully break off. So that's now cut off and I've put like a wee taper on here <coughs> just for when we're megging it up. Because, uh, well I could take it but I'll probably meg it. <laughs> just because I can't be asked. Um, right, so in here you can see obviously the concern is this is a bit smaller than in here. So what I would have to do is uh, once it's in place... Make it all up or take it up or whatever and then I'd have to pour out the inside um, just because I know naturally air speed's going to slow down when it hits this big area here but if you think about it uh, my collector for my actual manifold goes to two and a half inch so if I did weld a three inch V band onto the two and a half inch collector it's still going to do the same it's still going to expand so um, yeah this is why I have no problem welding this on so we'll do that and we'll port it up and uh, we'll see how it fits. So I've tacked it in place um, <coughs> where it kind of needs to go, but I don't think I'm going to be able to close the bonnet, so I may have to cut a hole in the fucking bonnet. Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> that is definitely the biggest turbo I've ever had in my puff. But yeah. What a monster. So, she's on, slight issues though, but it doesn't close, uh, we'll just have to cut a hole, <laughs> cut a hole to make it fit and maybe paint the top of the compressor cover red. <laughs> what do now, just heating up the cast, because we've decided I'm going to make it. The reason I'm thinking about megging it is because uh, it's a lot easier to port down the, the mild steel. When you tig it, it can sometimes get a little bit too hard, so I'm just going to meg it. I've megged them before, they'll last us fine. A lot of people say, oh you can't wear about the cast. Yeah you fucking can, which is, just... I'm going to hang this 20 kilogram turbo off this bastard, if it doesn't crack a wheel then, <laughs> Pass done. Thing still red hot, so. Ah, I think it's gonna work a treat. Oh, mechty me. She's a thing of beauty. So, uh, as you can see, important to do. Not actually that much important to do, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, at least that'll fit anyway. So happy with that. And uh, I need to let it cool down gradually, but. There's no way that's going to fall So off. now we just welded on, uh, it's like a little restrictor um, and made this piece up here so I just need to make a little gasket for it so I'll probably use it with this tonic water, it's like a kind of thin card. So getting there with it, um, one thing I did find though is I'm going to have this poking at the bonnet too which is a bit of a pain in the ass, but yeah it's one of them. Um, sort of aiming this direction down here towards the pipe, um, I've got this a 90 here that I'll use and I'll come off of there and um, with that ERC clamps they're nice to kind of fit so I'll um, fire it up in this direction and uh, yeah should be good and um, what else have we got to do the downpipe that'll be a pain in the fucking arse to do but because this is a uh, I think it's four inch or three and a half inch so I need to taper that down to 3 inch and then I need to find a flange that's the same as this. Now what I'm doing though is I'm not modifying any part of it that I can't take off and just bolt on the other turbos. So effectively I'll have 3 turbos I can just bolt straight right. on. So there we have it, that is the downpipe flange migged up. Well people will be hating me using MIG but I love MIG. I decided while I was at it, I'd make a little bracket off of here as well. 
and weld it straight onto the turbo for a little bit of bracing because it's a lot of weight swinging off of that. Right, so uh, I basically just uh, take this up, take these ends on here, not the best weld, well they're okay welds, you know, um, they'll do the trick anyway, but it's been a while since I've done any TIG on aluminium, so yeah, I found a wee bend in the, uh, a wee bend in the scrap pile, so I've got this down here, and She fits in there and she'll go up there, so um, this compressor housing is still loose, so um, I can get it all squared up and then that way it'll fit nice and neat. There we have it, I've uh, got the ERC boost clamp back on again, I love it and things, look how much play you've got and I completely sealed, so so yeah that's uh, pretty much in the ballpark, we'll go with that. I've got a 3 inch cup on here, I just found that in the scrap pile, so because um, we're now 3 inch everything up to like an 85 mil throttle body and everything's 3 inch so yeah the exhaust I kind of need to go bigger but this will do for now um, I took 3.5 inch and then I've crushed it down to 3 inch um, so 3 inch of flow 700 odd uh, and then from there on onwards you know it's I really need to get the bonnet exit on the go for that but we only really need over 700 for track so yeah then then we can have a fucking lum <laughs> and fully send the bitch but yeah, it should be good. So, progress. Um, I serviced the wastegate a little bit and I also changed this to 90 degree so it was further away from this in here. So, um, yeah, lots of uh, stuff's been happening. And obviously, that's bolted on now. Uh, I'm going to have to get a longer silicon. So, I'll order one then from eBay tonight. Um, what else? Check the size of that fucking thing. Uh, what else did I do? Oh yeah, Sims the base gate and yeah, ready to do the downpipe. So I'm waiting for a V-band to come from the internet because uh, the idea of this is I can completely swap out setups between the three turbos and nothing has to be modified. So the smaller ones have their own pipe and their own downpipe and then the rest should be pretty much bolt on. So yeah. Oh, I also put on a wee dump valve. So, yeah, interesting to see how this goes. So, I've got the exhaust back off again, the turbo back off again, and I forgot to put this piece in here, so this is going to be my turbo back pressure sensor, and also put one down there as well for pre-intercooler sensor. And I'm going to make a little tube up here, and I'm going to fill it full of probably swarf from the lathe, um, to try and make like a little cylinder to try and dampen the effects of, uh, you know, the pulses. And there we go, so I've got 150 PSI sensor onto that, I've obviously welded it all up and stuff and yeah, I think I should do the trick. So the next thing I need to do is, uh, listen here, ignore this, I just made that up to test boost pipes, make sure they're all sealed. So um, I'm thinking about maybe using one of these, the GM style map sensors um, for this type and then I can, uh, you know, just take a normal tube from here, put it here. Um, I suppose the beauty about this type is later on, if I need to test pressures or anything else, I can just take a longer bit of pipe and just stick it in anywhere. So um, we'll do that anyway, and we'll see what we get. Right, so look at that. All welded up, and now it's ported. Totally port matched from the two and a half to the three. So cheers for that, broski. <laughs> and look at this. 10.9 <laughs> so there we go i've made the addition there and that is all welded up so um now we have a functioning turbo so um what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to pull this stuff off and give it a bit of a polish just for the crack um just because i've got some time but yeah apart from that it's pretty much pretty much done so i need to take it for a wee run but i can't yet because i'm waiting for prop shafts and a fuel pump Bonnet also fits as well. Look at that. <laughs> oh, 
hopefully in the next video we'll uh, take it out for a wee blast and we'll see how laggy this beast is um, right, and do some tuning on it so that'll be a good crack um, yeah like I say waiting on the fuel pump and stuff just now so we'll be able to start off you know it's a bit of a shame but uh, well it'll just sound like the other cars to be honest so go back and look at them videos if you want to hear what it sounds like but anyway guys hope you guys are doing well staying safe and we'll catch you in the next vid cheers